Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions, and today we have an Olmeyer uh, three kilowatt inverter. You can see the big orange three there, stands for three kilowatt model. And um, the Olmeyer uh, inverters were bought into Australia by Eco Kinetics. Now, Eco Kinetics has since gone bust, and Olmeyer are a German company. Um, which don't really support anything in Australia. So if you've got problems with them, uh, you're not in for much luck. So the Olmey inverters have a bit of a clunky interface. And um, if we just have a look at it here, at the moment it's got the revenue data on there. So we press enter there, W day. So what's the, today that is produced is zero kilowatt hours, what's the year and what's total since it was installed. That's a bit like the odometer on your car, it just keeps on ticking up. Now if we press um, the across bat, the button to the left, we can go to the main menu, and we've got the revenue data uh, there, which usually is not going to be very helpful to you. Solar panel data, so with this we can check what the solar panels are doing, so it's definitely getting voltage from the solar panels. We've got UDC, 343 volts, so that's 343 volts coming from the solar panels right now. IDC, 0 amps, so, so if the sun's out and your inverter is showing zero amps, um, then your system's not actually doing anything. So we've got a problem there to start with. We press back again, and we press down again, we go to the main data, press enter on that, and it tells us there, UAC, the, the voltage from the AC side is 245 volts, and AC current is 0.13 amps. Now, AC current's always a bit hard to know because it could be that that's power coming from the grid just to power the screen, or it could be power going back to the grid. Um, in this case, because the solar panel a, a, a amperage was zero, we know that this is power from the, from the grid actually powering the inverter. So this has told us that the inverter's got uh, power from the street, it's got the, the AC voltage, and the solar panel uh, voltage was there as well. If we went back there, solar panel voltage is there, but still zero amp. amp. So this system is not working at the moment. If we go to main data, we got that uh, the voltage and frequency there again. Um, then there's language, set clock date, set review, system information. System information is not very exciting. It just gives you the uh, the inverter model. So this is a pack one uh, slash three. The three stands for the three kilo version, the software and serial number of the inverter. Not as much help because you won't be able to make a warranty claim with it because uh, all may aren't around anymore. Uh, look, so with, with an inverter like this, if it is coming up with an issue uh, such as this where it's just not working, the best thing to do is try and shut the system down, see if a reboot will sort it out. Shutdown procedure is always important that you follow it. Turn off the solar supply main switch, which is located in your switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator, so we're just going to throw that off, and the screen's gone completely blank. Then turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. So we're just going to throw that off over here and leave that go dead. And then we're going to turn it back all back on. The startup procedure is nowhere near as important as the shutdown procedure. So we, as long as you turn everything back on, that's the main thing. So we're just going to throw the DC on and we're going to throw the AC back on. And this one actually comes up with a few things on starter. Here we're coming up, error AC line, error DC current. Now, um, I've checked both those things and there's there's nothing there wrong whatsoever. This is an internal problem with the inverter. So it's briefly showing these errors at the, at the start and then they're actually going away and being replaced by the main reading on the inverter, which is AC power being produced is zero watts and peak power is zero watts. What's day zero watts, so it's producing absolutely nothing at the moment. This will, if this was working, um, it, this is a three kilowatt model, as we said. Um, this would show what percentage of the inverter capacity is actually working at. So, at the moment, it's at that zero watt reading, but it's gone away now. So, look, if you've got a problem with your old main inverter and it's just not working, I recommend getting someone uh, a solar accredited electrician technician to come and have a look at the system, work out what's going on for you. And uh, unfortunately, the most uh, common thing that you're going to need to do is get the inverter replaced. And like I said, Eco Kinetics aren't around to honor their warranty. Old Mayor don't do anything in Australia. They're not represented in Australia. So 
good luck with any warranty with them. What we usually end up having to do for customers is replace the inverter um, with a brand new one, which gives you a full new warranty and the peace of mind that it's going to be working in the future. But look, um, you got an old mayor inverter which is having problems in your, on the Gold Coast or Southeast Queensland area, don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We're certainly happy to help. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.